Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. Oh, talk about a busy day. Hi. I was going to wait and see if anybody comes on here. I know this is like super sporadic. I did not have this on the schedule because I didn't even know I was going to be able to get on here. So, hi, Christine. I'm going to see if anybody else comes on. Christine, how's your Thursday going? Hey, Dolores. How's your Thursday? How's everybody doing? Good afternoon. <laughs> I just decided to go live and I'm not even driving you guys. This is probably the first time in so long that I haven't done a live video while I was driving. I always just do them while I'm driving. Um, but yeah, okay, so I just want to come on here. Um, it's funny, I was sitting here thinking, oh, she says, hello, good to see you, you look great. Aw, thank you, appreciate that. I feel good, I feel better, I feel free. <laughs> hey, Jennifer, long time no see, right? I know, I need to do this more. I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> I apologize. My voice cracked. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this started because I know I don't know how you guys' days are going, but I want to make sure, you know, I, do a, I did a lot of coaching today on not wasting time, so I want to make sure that we're not wasting time either. Um, but I did have a few minutes. I connected with an amazing friend of mine today. Her name is Juju. She has her own group. She's actually doing a lot of business consulting. Um, and her group is called Empowered Boss Babes. So I love the fact she and I met back in 2011 in San Antonio, Texas. And I met her at a time in my life where uh, I was transitioning into what I thought I was going to be doing into um, what am I doing with myself? <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, and And she was just such an inspiration to be around. Um, she was a Zumba instructor back then and and just crushing it. And that was before I became a Zumba instructor. But I can definitely say she's one of the ones who got me more into it to where I wanted to become one. Um, but I've really just been super inspired by her. We've kept in touch this whole entire time throughout our whole journeys in life. Um, and and it really just talking to her just made me, she really had me thinking about some things. <laughs> like, like, she had me thinking about some things, you know, and, and I think sometimes we all need that, right? So um, for those of you who don't know, I am more transitioning into um, not only continuing to build up to be epic with my other coaches and mentoring them um, so they can pretty much take it over and run with it. Uh, but I'm really building the the brand Jody Watkins. Uh, something that Juju and I had talked about was, you know, I used to think I needed a title. <laughs> but what we don't always realize is we already have a title. We're we're special in our own way, and we have these experiences that allow us to reach people at different times of their lives and. And really just allow us to pour into them um, as a person who loves to do that, right? So I had to learn how to kind of let go of things that were not uh, helping <laughs> in my journey. Uh, and that was really hard because I just, uh, she says, women wear many hats. Yes. Um, but one of the things that Juju said today that really, really made me think is she was talking about our time. And since I coach on this subject, it was something that really resonated with me. Um, and she was just saying how her time became so much more valuable. She's a new mom. Um, she's, you know, her other, her son is 18, but she's a, she just had a baby not too long ago and you know, her time has just been super valuable. And so she had to learn how to maximize the, that time and help, you know, help more people. But maximize her time. So that's really what I'm focused on doing these days too. Um, and, and learning how to let go of some of the things that might not be working so well. 
as far as like, um, you know, like in person, personal training and things like that. It, it's not really the best use of my time simply because as a personal trainer, I was really always more of a life coach. So why not go more that route and be able to impact more people on Zoom calls, right? Because we have this this awesome thing called technology. Um, so I'm really just working more towards um, just being myself and being authentic and being there for the people who who I'm meant to work with. And that was the thing too. It's like, I really just want to help everybody, but I can't help everybody, right? Because not everybody wants to be helped. And so it's just learning how to, you know, pivot and shift and, and be okay with that. Um, you know, when I have people, it's so crazy because sometimes, <laughs> you know, I follow, I have a lot of people that I've been friends with, especially on Facebook, social media, you know, for a long time. And, you know, it's stuff that I've been telling people for years and then they'll post something and it's like, magically, they just heard this stuff. And I'm like, what? I told you that like four years ago, right? <laughs> but it, I have to, you know, I have to just be okay with that because it's all about timing, right? Like I don't, you know, it it wasn't my time in, in 2019 where people were like, you need to rebrand, you need to rebrand, you need to shift. It wasn't my time. Now is my time because now I feel like this is my purpose. It was all for this. Everything that I've ever endured was for this, right? So I want to just come on here live and just remind you guys that I am doing a wellness accountability group. This does not technically include exercise and nutrition. This is more about um, mindset development and and really just helping people get out of their own heads, learn how to not waste time, right? And and maximize their time. Like I feel like I'm maximizing the few minutes that I had free because I came on here. Um and just really learning how to whatever I have my hands in, making sure that it allows me to help other people. So that's really what I focused on in 2020 um and now into 2021. And and I just really wanted to make sure that everyone was aware of some of the things that are out there uh, because Juju was not and it made me realize like, oh my gosh, my marketing is not <laughs> very good at all, um, which I'm working on that too. But, you know, I, I'm not able to do everything all, all the time. So I just have to, you know, schedule things a little bit better. But anyway, um, yeah, so last year, March of 2020, I was able to publish my first book called Reclaim Your Life. It has a cover, it has the picture of my daughter on the cover um, because she is the reason that I chose the path that I chose in 2019 to turn the mirror around and submit <laughs> and stop trying to control everything. Um, so I put her on the cover of the book. I'm really proud of just being able to share this journey with other people. Um, and it's not about, you know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, congrats on the book and things like that. And I'm like, thank you. But it's really, it's not about writing the book. It's the impact that it allows me to have on more people. Because I would have people that were like, you know, I really want to work with you, but it's just not in the budget right now okay, cool. Well, I have this book. It's like $20 and it'll change your life as long as you use it. Right. So now I have that tool and I love it. Well, in October of 2020, I was able to get the course done for Reclaim Your Life. So that course is inside Convene. Um, for some of you who don't know, I am using Convene for literally everything nowadays. Okay. So I have these Facebook groups and I do have Instagram or whatever, but Convene is really just been a godsend. It's allowed me to reach more people. Um, and, you know, it's the the founder is a retired Marine pilot. He's just awesome. Um, he and I have a great connection and a relationship. And he wants me to win. And, it, and he encourages me and supports me as much as I want him to win. And I encourage him and support him. So that's what I really worked on in 2020 is making sure that I surround myself with people who want just as much for me as I want for them, right? So whether it's health and wellness or business, entrepreneurship, spiritually, whatever that looks like, 
I'm making sure that the people who are meant to be in my life are in my life. Um, and I knowing that I don't have any control over that. Okay. Um, that was the hardest part for me because I wanted to be able to help everybody and just really wanted to pour into everybody, but not everybody is ready for that. So Juju and I had that great conversation today and just talking about, you know, we love to refer people. Um, I, you know, I can't help every single person and I'm not the coach for everyone. So I love having, you know, connecting with other like-minded individuals. So that way I can, um, you know, if I'm not able to work with someone or maybe we're just not the best fit for each other, I can always have someone else to connect with them or to connect them with. So that was something that she and I talked about. But um, like I said, I just wanted to come on here because I know I don't do enough live videos in this group. I was trying to figure out how to publicize the group because now I just want to make it public, but it won't let me change the privacy. <laughs> so uh, when I originally started this group, it was supposed to be for women uh, and it was going to be where women could like post pictures and things like that of their journey. And so it needed to be private because, uh, you know, just making sure that everyone's information was confidential and, you know, their pictures were confidential and things like that. And now I'm like, man, I really wish that I could publicize the group, but I would have to start all over. So I don't know if I'm ready for that. Um, but you guys just come over to convene, come to the wellness community and, and come check us out. So, um, but thank you for being here. Thank you for staying in the group. If you're not on the email list, please make sure you get on the email list. Send me your email. I'll put you in or you can go to the website to be epic fn.com and get your name in the email list. It won't be too long, you guys, and jodywatkins.com will be up. And I'll have so many different ways to, you know, put information out. I have so many books under my belt that I want to be able to put out. Um, so much information inside of me <laughs> that I want to be able to put out more. Um, and I'm definitely looking to collaborate with like minded individuals. So if you're one of those, Make sure that you reach out to me and let's work together so we can impact more lives together. Okay. Love you guys. Thanks again for being here and thanks for continuing this journey with me. I know if you're an outsider looking in, it probably seems crazy and it is, <laughs> but I'm embracing all of it because this is life, right? Our lives are not always going to be nice and shiny and pretty, right? So we just have to be able to um, take care of ourselves so that when life hits us, and it's going to, <laughs> we are able to continue the journey and heal. And that's what I really became even more passionate about just in my own journey, because I was really good, you guys, at putting a Band-Aid on <laughs> and keep on trucking, right? Like I was coping. I was just coping and coping and coping. And then eventually it all hit me like a brick wall. And Juju said today, she said it was like taking the Band-Aid off. I said, girl, it was more than just the Band-Aid. And she was like, like some skin. And I said, oh yeah, like a whole lot of skin. I had to begin the journey of healing. And when I started that journey... That's what changed my life. So in the book, Reclaim Your Life, it talks a lot about that in the first few chapters. Uh, I did put some nutrition information in there, obviously, because I want to make sure that I do put some information out there that I've learned along the way when it comes to nutrition and fueling your body. Uh, and then I put, you know, exercise, because honestly, exercise is so important for our mental health. Uh, and then, of course, being consistent. That's the biggest part of it all. I've had to start over so many times, you guys. But I just keep getting back up, right? Like If we just quit on everything all the time, nothing's going to pan out. So when we feel passionate about something or when it's something that's really helping us mentally and physically, then we should probably stick with it, right? No matter what that looks like, even if we have to start over with it. So, um, you know, I'm starting over with To Be Epic. We're basically building a new foundation. Uh, my coaches and I were doing that. And then the Jody Watkins brand is going to be coming out in 2021. So I'm excited. I'm going to be reaching out to 
Um, Juju reminded me of some of the business resources we have as veterans. So I'm going to be reaching out to some of those and, and really just embracing the rest of the journey because that's what our lives are. They're just a journey and we have to embrace them. The good, the bad, the ugly, the indifferent. Um, we have to learn how to forgive ourselves and forgive others. That's one thing that I really had to work on tremendously. I had to learn how to trust. Um, that was a big thing with me. And, and definitely my time management, that was huge too. So just remember that none of us are perfect. I, would, I say it on my Facebook page, I'm perfectly imperfect, okay? Because <laughs> I have a lot of flaws. But the great part about it is I have learned to become aware of them so that I can work through them. And it's not easy. None of it is. There's no magic pill for any of this, okay? But if you're ready to begin taking the journey and you would like me to meet you where you are, because honestly, I can't meet you anywhere else but where you are, then I'm ready to take it with you too. Make sure you reach out to me um, and we'll, we'll figure out a way to get together. I do strategy calls. I have a six-week course. I have the, the courses inside the, the wellness community and convene. I have the book. Um, whatever I can get to you, I have free blogs, the YouTube channel, all kinds of information. So whatever I can do to help you in your journey, let me know. Okay. That's what I'm here for. And that's what I love. All right, you guys have an amazing Thursday and keep thriving. All right. Love you guys. Bye.